everybody and welcome back to the Fabulous Movement YouTube channel. Today we will talk about ClickUp. Because ClickUp, they recently had a lot of feature updates and releases. And the one that I want to cover today in more detail is Swim Lanes, something they released already about a month ago. And I want to check it out now today in our ClickUp and compare it with Notion. Well, they also teamed up with Hotspot. So they have a tight two-way synchronization for Hotspot now. And they improved the SAPI integration. I love this one because now you can actually find the custom fields much more easily and select what you are looking for. This is something that was tedious before. Major improvement that I think is great when it comes to automating your ClickUp setup. And they just added the option to have voice clips in comments, which is nice. However, I would really hope that they will also add voice clip transcriptions like we have it in Slack. Whenever we say something in there or we record a video clip, it will automatically get transcribed and therefore become searchable. And I think with all the announcements they had for the ClickUp 3.0 and that they want to improve search, this, in my opinion, is very crucial to make the voice clips searchable. Otherwise, I would recommend for team members to still write things down so it becomes searchable later on. And that's really the big advantage that Slack has there. And if this comes to ClickUp, then I'm sold on the voice clips too. But all this, I think, is just a start. We cannot wait to see ClickUp 3.0 coming around and the UI UX improvements. This being said, now let's check out swim lanes. All right, here we are in ClickUp and we are here in a software database. What we do, and I will show you this in another video how to do this, um, we have it synchronized with our Notion database, all right? So we know that ClickUp is consistently improving their databases and how this looks and works and so on. But when it comes to handling, it's still too slow compared to Notion. So what we do, we two-way synchronize with Notion using Unito. And therefore, see, here's the Notion database and it's the same. And we have additional content here per tool. So that's a software database where we collect all the different software we talk about. And then we categorize it by iCore like input, control, output, refine. If you want to learn more about i join the Payless Movement membership. You can join it for free. Start watching the i course for free as well. And then the purpose of each tool. This is a great way to show you how swim lanes work. So let's go back to ClickUp and let's create the swim lanes uh, view, all right? Therefore you go to board and now we have board. So now it categorized it, or the columns are actually the status. And let's group this here by a custom field, iCore. And now we should see the tools according to iCore, but we see nothing. The reason is the status is completed. So we have to show the closed tasks as well. And there, now they show up, all right? So now it categorizes by different columns. And when we used two different iCore categories, then it shows this separately. So now let's add the swim lanes. So therefore we go here where we selected the group and down there, there's the swim lanes feature. We activate this and now we can group it by, and we use the purpose, okay? And now you see the different tools showing up in the different categories. We can collapse this to make it a bit easier to see everything. And there we see it's called tasks. Again, I really hope they will improve and go more into a database thinking on ClickUp rather than the task thinking, because this way we could really build proper databases and use this knowledge management of the databases inside the tasks. Something that we do already inside ClickUp. So you see on the side, there's our ClickUp setup something that we are working on. There will be a course. So if you're interested in this, again, you can join us for free. So now, for example, I can go to note taking and in the control part of note taking, we find these tools. So in the input part, things like that. And now I can take it and drag it around. Or let's say I say, well, Apple Notes is uh, knowledge management. I can move it up into knowledge management. But let's have a look at Notion because it's there already, okay? So here I have the same. So there's input control, output refine. And there you see already a difference. We only have input control, output refine. When we go back to ClickUp, we have control output, control refine. That's a bit confusing. And I would like to have actually the option to show this separately, okay? So there's only input control, output refine and uh, 
task would show up twice. I'll show you what this means in Notion. Or oh, let's quickly do this. So there's Apple Notes, and now let's add to Apple Notes control as well, okay? Now you see Apple Notes shows up in both columns, and that makes absolutely sense. So I can now take this and move it around, and what this does, it's still an input, and it just added output. And I think that's great. And now we can add in Notion the subgroup, and there we take the purpose as we had before, and the same thing here, we only have the single purposes and that makes it a lot easier to visualize this. When we search for Apple notes again, here we go. It's a note taking and it is an input and in control. And therefore I can now easily see Apple notes is good in input and control, but maybe not used for output and refine. Again, if you want to know what all this means, check out the iCore Mastery course. But uh, let's say we would have a tool that also is good in uh, refine and output, then it would look like this. And I think this is something that makes it much more readable, the whole thing. I can collapse this. And then when we compare just the visualization of this versus ClickUp. Sorry, guys. But I have to say, this is just messy. I know, I know, you would, for example, categorize by assignees and you use this in different ways. I'm just looking at this from a database and for a knowledge management perspective, which makes it easier to work with the databases. And I think from this bottom-up approach that we have a visualization of the database or flexibility that I could have both because other way around, in Notion, on the other hand, I don't have the option to show to show it the way that we see it in, in ClickUp, right? So there's nothing, there's not a column that shows all three. But if I would need to choose one, that's the view that I would like to see for swim lanes uh, in here. Because look at this, this is a lot of columns. That's confusing in my opinion. Let's go to task view. Let's pick status, close tasks. Okay, it's already there. And then again, we can have swim lanes and then by assignee. But the same thing here occurs as well. So I have assignee Paco, me, and then both of us, okay? That's okay. And then no assignee, that's great. So now I could use this and bring it in to here and then say in what status it should be like progress on hold and make this and it's on hold then. So that's useful. But again, I don't, I don't feel that's visually pleasing as it is in Notion. Well, that's about it for swim lanes. If you use swim lanes in your ClickUp setup, let us know in the comments below how you use it. Do you like it? What would you like to improve? Do you prefer a having it this way. So see here, now it's overlapping three parts to me. This is really visually not pleasing, but now we have it this way. So would you prefer to have these columns in this way? Or would you prefer it the notion way where we have only the one and then it's, it's appearing in the different columns? Or <laughs> something that I would prefer, being able to have the option to switch. So if ClickUp actually gives me the option now that I can have it the one way or the other, obviously this would be preferred. If you want to learn more about ClickUp, make sure that you follow this channel and join the Paperless Movement membership because there's a lot more to come when it comes to how we use ClickUp inside the Paperless Movement. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and I'll catch you up next time. Everybody